how would you advise people go about, you know, dealing with things that they can't fix and, you know, kind of doing what they can, I guess. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I think these are really cool opportunities to learn to lead from beneath or from a side. Okay. Um, you know, I, I dealt with this a lot dealing with the pastor. You know, I had a creative idea, um, or he had a creative idea that I just really didn't think was going to land, right? Yeah. Um, and so it can get so frustrating because they might be, um, you know, non-receptive to what you have to say. But it's really a chance to learn that leadership skill of leading people who you might not even be responsible for. Yeah. So, so much of that comes, uh, first of all, you start with humility. Um, people aren't going to listen to your ideas until you listen to their ideas, right? Yeah. That's just like a basic leadership principle. Um, so if you want someone to listen to you, you know, start respecting your pastor. Start respecting your grading team. Focus on the things they do well and appreciate that. Say, hey, you know, I, I really, I had never thought of the way you guys did this, but I realized that's a great way to do it. I, I would have never thought of that. Um, and by respecting what they have done, what they have accomplished, you start with a bank of, um, you know, of, of chips. Uh, There's kind of this illustration of, you know, yeah. you, you have this kind of investment in them that you can then draw on, right? So start investing in them, first of all. And then just cast a vision for it. Paint a vision for it. Um, what are you trying to accomplish? What, what, you know, what's the heart behind all of this? So often we focus on the, you know, the visible things, uh, what we see. Oh, this church did this, and we think that's enough to sway someone. But that's not. What if you start with, hey, you know, this church made me feel so welcomed, yeah. and this is what they did. So focus on the heart behind it. People, people, I think, are a lot more willing to, to change uh, than we think they are. I think um, whenever we show, you, show your heart, whenever we show, like, okay, this is my heart, just, you know, whenever you get that personal interaction, um, you can do it. But, yeah, I mean, when they said, you know, go above and beyond in areas you can, yeah, that's definitely one way to do it. You know, probably in your church, you might still do 10 of these things that are no-nos, right? But you can still be welcoming. Um, you know, obviously ideal, you get all 50. But, uh, you know, no one actually lives in the, in the ideal world, right? There's, there's the right way to do things, and there's the way everyone actually does them. So 